So today's video, I'm gonna interview my son, my son Christian right here. Um, it's about um, living with epilepsy, right? That's what today's video is, living with, living with epilepsy. Now, Christian, how old are you? I'm 12 years old, going on 13. Great, great, great. Um, do you know, can you tell them out there what epilepsy is? Epilepsy is uh, a condition where you have seizures a lot. So like, I can just be chilling and nothing's happening and then I just have a seizure blank out. So are these seizures like fall on the floor and you know, some seizures, when I think of seizures, I, I think of like, First thing that pops in your head is like falling. Yeah, fa yeah. So is it, is it those kind of seizures? I've had one of those seizures about three years ago. I was playing on the playground and enduring myself a lot. And over, um, over exerting myself. So I was playing on the playground, playing tag and stuff. And then I started walking slow. And then out of nowhere, you know, I just collapsed. Um, and then everybody told me that I was shaking. And so I went to the hospital. And then this is when they diagnosed me with epilepsy. And I had, to, this is when they found out that I had a large mass on my left side. But I don't have, I don't have no seizures no more. It's, it's a possibility. Right, we, we, we'll get into that. We'll get into it. I don't want to kill, give, give him it all in, 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 you know, in two minutes, but. So, what how what, what do you think causes these seizures? Well, I'm not sure. Um, I think my mom thinks it's like overexertion, but most seizures are caused by flashing light. But I don't know if mine's caused by flashing light. So what happened here was I was getting an EEG to see if it was caused by flashing light. And is the test painful? The test wasn't painful, it was quite relaxing. Uh, me and myself, I have like an itchy scalp. So, um, he was like massaging my head and stuff like that. And I got really relaxed. And plus we woke up at a really early time. So I was able to take a nap. So after the, that seizure, I know you went almost a year or so without having any. Yeah, they put me on a medication called Keppra. Capra, all right, all right. So it kept me from having any seizures, but the only side effect was it gave me rashes and stuff. But then later on, we found out that was eczema. So we canceled that medication because we thought it was causing my rashes, but I just had eczema. So a year later, after I canceled the medic, we canceled the medication. Uh, my mom, uh, we were all outside just chilling. And my mom wanted to ask me because she wanted some wipes and she could change the body. So I stood there. This is, this is all what she told me. I was just standing there and I was shaking, but I didn't fall. I grabbed something and I just started shaking. And at first, uh, I thought it was a muscle spasm because um, cause I was just shaking, you know, and I was actually aware and I didn't fall or nothing. And then after that, I think maybe like a day later, um, we ignored it. Probably everything was fine. She assumed it was a muscle spasm. So I got back to my regular things and stuff. And then we came to the new house and I got a new basketball goal. And I was like mad excited. So I went over to look at, you know, what it was and like the brand and stuff and how big it can go and stuff like that. Basically like the info of it. So I went to grab on like, so it was like some staples and I grabbed the staples and my hands started shaking. And then this time- So those are like considered mild. Those are not like falling on the floor. That's just like a, a, a mild seizure. So I, I believe that there's, there's different steps. You know what I'm trying to say? Or different, not steps, but different levels of it. You know, like, like, like you said, some fall on the floor. You know, the shade, they, they, you know, the that's like the worst level. Then there's mild ones where you might just be standing there and, and all of that. See, standing is, it's mild, but it's not the worst. So like, 
there's like three stages. So focal, which is the one that I'm at when I stand up, mm -hmm. that's like the first step. Then falling is like, you know, we start shaking. But then the first, second step is like what I'm talking about right now, but you only shake for like less than five minutes and stuff like that. I think it's less than even than a minute. Yeah. I've seen, you know, cause I've, I've seen you have them, but I think it's less than a minute, I would say, or uh, just about over a minute, but not nothing long at all. And then... So, during this EEG test, can you, can you give us, like, a more, more insight onto what the test was like? What are your triggers? I know they do the flashing lights. What, what was the test like? Like, give us a more in-depth answer. So... In, in depth of the thing, of the EEG. So first, they had to get me relaxed and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So at first, I was awake. And so basically the EEG is like, they detecting the electrical wave on my brain to see all the triggers and stuff like that. So one of the triggers is like flashing lights and stuff like that. So they started flashing some flashing lights as you will see in this clip. So, since the flashing lights, you know, trigger uh, the electrical waves in the brain, uh, so they, most of the test was on the left side of my brain because, see, I have a mask on the left side of my brain. So, what happens on the left happens on the right. So, it's like opposite with the brains. But so, like, there's two sides of the brains. There's the left and the right. So, like, if something's going on the right side, something will happen on the left. Okay. Something's going to happen on the left, and something's going to happen on the right. Mm -hmm. So... After after I had my first test, which I was awake, uh, I had to have a second one, which I needed to go to sleep. So basically, I woke up real real early in the morning, and then. So another question I wanted to ask you is how has living how has epilepsy impacted you, like in your life? Well, epilepsy is very hard to have because. You're limited to a lot of things you can do and a lot of places you can go. So, if I have seen the flash lights, I can't go to like parties uh, and a lot of like indoor stuff. So, like, well, indoor stuff is like a big party, so you have like the flashlight and all that around the thing. So, that could be a trigger. And if the place is too hot, I can't go. And then I can't really go in the pool by myself. So, like, say if I want to go with a couple friends. When I'm like 15, 16, or at my age right now, if I want to go with a couple friends, I can't because... So you think that, it's, I mean, it's like epilepsy means that you always have to have some kind of parental, mm -hmm. you know, right. super, supervision, you know? And but I can't really be independent on my own, uh -huh. and it, that makes it real hard. And then I, there's a lot of things I want to do, like at a certain time, it's like, it could be like 80. And it's still a hazard. So if I went to outside at 80 degrees just to play basketball, I still got to be watched. So say if I want to play with some friends, I have to take breaks and stuff like that. So like normal, I'm not going to say I'm not normal, but like people without epilepsy or out of the condition like me, they have to, they can just play whenever they want and have a lot of fun and stuff. I still have a lot of fun all the time, but their, my limits are a lot shorter than, you know, people without epilepsy. All right, so how how has the medicine? I know you was taking. Once I was taking. You taking three pills in the morning, and three at night, and then they they increased it, correct? Yeah. So, so I how, was taking three at three twice a day, and then it wasn't working at all. So like I was still having seizures weekly, and so I went to the doctors recently, and. They put push it up a notch, and like I, at first you gotta get used to the medication. So like I was taking the medication, it was making me dizzy and stuff, and I didn't like that at all. But I started to get used to it, and now it's like you know I'm better now. I haven't had a seizure since they increased it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> all the prayers they've been definitely working. <laughs> so I'm glad that you were able to give the people some insight on on epilepsy, the triggers. Uh, what how the medications work? Just your day to day activity as a kid. Um, this video is just for it's 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 amazing. It's awareness to people that that may know about it. Some people that don't know about it. And I'm thankful that I was able to just sit down with my son and and clear the air.
And Christian, you did an amazing job. And this is something that you will get past and something that you'll look back on and there'll just be a stage in your life. You know? Mm -hmm. And then just about a week or so later, right in front of our house, Christian had another seizure. Today's his birthday, and he had a seizure today, and he's currently in the hospital. So just keep my son in your prayers, and keep him, just keep him in your prayers, Lord.